Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Have you received telephone calls requesting personal information or immediate payment? In this video, I'll share what is personal information, scams and ID theft are increasing, using fear to act immediately, and preventing phone ID theft and scams. Your personal information is any information that can be used to identify you. It includes your name, mailing and email addresses, phone numbers, social security number, medical records, photos, videos, passport number, bank, credit card, and utility account numbers. Some personal information is public record, like birth and death certificates, and real estate transactions. Most scammers obtain personal information from social media and data breaches. According to the Federal Trade Commission, Americans filed 2.6 million fraud reports in 2023, totaling $10 billion in losses. And that does not include unreported cases of fraud. As a result, financial institutions, utility companies, and online retailers are warning customers to beware of scams. Posting personal information on social media increases your risk of being scammed. Scammers avoid targeting people who are poor, homeless, or have a low credit rating. They target people boasting about their wealth or firmly believing misleading or false information. It makes sense that the least scammed age group is 19 and under. And the most scammed age group is 60 to 69, closely followed by 40 to 59. Scammers use fear to get people to act immediately like threatening to place a lien on your home, or with immediate arrest for not paying taxes or ignoring a jury summons, and threatening to immediately shut off utilities for failing to pay a past due bill. Today, most people communicate electronically using email and text messages. Most businesses and government agencies still use snail mail. The reason is simple. The problem and solution are in writing. Scammers don't want to leave a paper trail. They use email, text, call centers, and websites that can be quickly shut down. Scammers obtain your telephone number from data breaches, telephone directories, online data collection, public databases, and sold on the dark web. Most phone scams involve phishing for personal information and demanding money. With your personal information, they can log into your accounts and wipe out your savings, or buy thousands of dollars worth of goods and services. Phone scams have been used for decades for ID theft and fraud. Before the digital age, there was no way of knowing who was calling. Today, with caller ID, you still don't know who's calling until you answer the phone. The reason is caller ID spoofing. Caller ID should display the caller's name or company name and telephone number. Caller ID spoofing software replaces the actual caller ID information with alternate information. What appears to be an in-state call can originate in another state or country. It's tempting to answer calls that appear to be from the Internal Revenue Service, Social Security, your financial institution, utility companies, and local law enforcement agencies. In most cases, these agencies do not contact you by phone unless you initiated the contact. For example, 
It's one thing receiving a call from your financial advisor. It's another receiving a call asking you to verify your account numbers, user ID, and password. Even if threatened with immediate arrest, remain calm, hang up, and do not give your full name, address, bank, or credit card account numbers. Never use gift cards or digital payments like PayPal to pay a debt by phone. Government agencies and utility companies do not demand payment by gift cards. Use your computer or phone app to check your financial, utility, and other account activity. Call your local law enforcement or the IRS if threatened with liens or arrest. Check your bank and social security accounts for overpayments. If you have caller ID and do not recognize the number, ignore the call. For legitimate problems, you'll be contacted by U.S. mail, not by telephone. Assume calls requesting personal information and account numbers are a scam until verified. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching.